Hello and good day. Um, my name is Sunita Leek. I'm the owner of GreenvilleNotary.com. I'm a National Notary Association Ambassador. I work with notaries nationwide in mentoring and um, do a lot of uh, or conduct a lot of social media activities. Uh, today I'm going to speak with you about um, do's and don'ts for your notary signing um, duties. So first, uh, can't say it enough, make sure that you uh, are cordial, uh, that you have a, a, a friendly demeanor. Um, work those customer service skills. If you've taken a Toastmasters course or attended Toastmasters meetings, um, if you don't have those skill sets, I would say take advantage of uh, maybe some interpersonal relations courses, uh, but definitely you need to um, have some type of courtesy about you. Dress professionally. I know locally here in Greenville, South Carolina, um, when people see me out on the street, I might not be as professionally dressed as they're used to seeing a notary, but that's when I'm on my off time. Um, when I conduct assignments, I am dressed, okay? Um, business casual at the least, um, no sneakers, no flip flops, um, no tank tops, um, no halter tops. Just use your best judgment and I know some people's best judgment isn't like the best judgment um, if you have any questions in regards to what to wear uh, you can always email um, and go to our website and leave a comment it's greenvillenotary.com um, second thing is have good hygiene um, and that actually comes before you dress <laughs> so I can't say second thing um, but it's high on the importance list uh, sometimes people don't think about their hygiene and um, it's something that people really need to be aware of because what smells good to you might not smell good to somebody else so make sure that you are bathing uh, you're washing showering um, also another thing is smoking uh, smokers and smoking uh, if you are a smoker um, you know look you know I'm not gonna judge you I would just say this either smoke well in advance or preferably after the assignment. Um, be on time. Promptness is, I mean, punctuality is, is tier. Um, a lot of notaries don't get called back because they were late or either if they were running late, they did not inform the signers and let them know in the company and let them know, hey, look, you know, I'm running about 10 minutes late, five minutes late. It's human. I mean, you are human. Uh, so sometimes you will be late to assignments. So just keep that in mind. If you are going to be late, please keep and communicate with your signers and the company that's involved, if there is a company involved in your signing. Um, greet signers with a firm handshake. Look them in the eye. Signers, uh, some of them are not familiar with the process, number one. They are not used to somebody coming to um, meet them. Uh, they're used to going to a bank or to an attorney's office. So you have to put a level or instill a level of trust um, in, uh, they have to, I'm sorry, they have to see you as um, a little bit trustworthy. So you've got to look them in the eye. If you show up and you're looking down and uh, you look kind of sketchy, they're not gonna trust your judgment. They're not gonna trust anything that you say. Um, you have to be bold and you have to be confident. Um, connect with an icebreaker or two. Um, it's good to, to have a couple of things in your pocket, you know, well, oh, I see you have a nice house, you know, how long have you been living here? Or, you know, well, you traveled from, from, from where? Oh, okay, so you live out there. I have a couple of buddies that live out there. Try to find some common ground with your signer. Um, sometimes your customer is not going to want to talk. Sometimes they're going to be in a hurry. Or two, they're just not quote unquote friendly people. Uh, sometimes you will run into people who are very um, type A. Um, it's normal. So gauge their conversation level for sure. Um, if you're rattling and you're talking and they're in a hurry, that's not going to be good. If uh, they're trying to, you know, forge a relationship with you and they're talking and you're giving them you know, one line answers, that's not good either. So just kind of gauge their conversation level and pattern your conversation to, to, to theirs. I'm not saying be unreal, 
and not be you. Uh, just saying, just work with them a little bit. Um, also, um, for when you're out on your notary signing um, assignments, never bow, bad mouth the company that you're working for. Um, this is something that um, a signing company will not call you back for. Uh, because that customer, even though they haven't, um, they may not have had a, a good experience with the signing company uh, or their lender. Um, when you badmouth the company, it makes the situation worse, and they're thinking in their heads, "Okay, well, should I even go through with this transaction?" Because they're saying this about this particular company, and I don't know which way I want to go. Because number one this person has just shown up and I don't know them from Adam they say they're a notary and they're notarizing this paperwork and this isn't a situation that I'm familiar with so all in all negativity just phase it out uh, if you're having situations with a particular signing call the company never use your own judgment on something that you have no idea of you have a set of instructions in most cases and um, you're following those instructions. If anything goes awry or askew from those instructions, you're wanting to call the signing company or title company, uh, lawyer's office, whoever has passed you or given you that assignment. Um, that's my little tidbit uh, for today. If you have any questions, uh, like I said, hit me up on my website at greenvillenotary.com and have a great day.